in many ways, I'd love to just say, I want to invite you to the story that's happening here. Hey guys, welcome to Cedar and Stone headquarters here in the sauna capital of North America, Duluth, Minnesota, my favorite city. Uh, and we are in this just gorgeous building. Ah, great architect in Duluth. If you haven't, if you don't know your architects, I want you to look up right now, David Salmola, amazing architect. He built this building, um, designed it. It's basically a manufacturing space that they dropped this beautiful glass cube on top of. I love it. And we get to office out of here now. So come on in. So the company who uh, launched this space is Lol, and Lol, they uh, they built amazing furniture out of recycled milk bottles here in Minnesota. And so American-made company doing super great work, and uh, we love it. They've they've grown out of the space. They were just they they were awesome. They needed more space, so uh, we're taking the space happily. Um, so we're up here, and this is our spot. So here's HQ, um, we're building saunas here, we're working on all of our stuff, uh, we're inviting our clients to come in and we'll do kind of a sauna design consult here. We're loving being in the space, we're gonna give you kind of a tour of it. Beautiful building, lots of glass, um, rich light sidings on our walls, um, beautiful lull furniture uh, right all over the place. Again, sort of American made Duluth companies, love it. My man Anthony over here, our graphic designer. What's up? Anthony designed this logo, which has been the brand. I mean, brand, Anthony is the holder of the brand. And check out this. So lunch breaks in Duluth, uh, in the summer at least, summers are sweet and short, but we are overlooking the city uh, from the west side of town, the big lake, St. Louis River, and just a gorgeous spot to be. You can even see the area lift ridge right through there. It's kind of hard in the summer, but in the winter especially. So come on back in. We just love being in kind of open concept. We're working with a couple other companies who are in here as well. Um, our, our guys at Intectural, amazing architectural surfaces, rich light, arbor wood, thermally modified wood. So it's sort of like a, it feels like there's just creative energy. It feels like a co-working space in some ways. With the pandemic, we're really trying to be super safe and sanitized. There's everything all the time we're filming. It's just knocking stuff over. Our guys at Intectral, they just have such amazing products. This is a thermally modified ash that just holds up forever. And Burnish, their line of super cool charred Shashugi Bond woods that are just unbelievable in their quality. They last forever. It's just like old tradition that's sort of being revived again. Looks super great. Can't wait to put that on the sauna. We're gonna show you downstairs uh, where we're building at. So, I mean, this is sort of the office and doing things up here, but downstairs, I want you to meet Joel, our head of fabrication. Um, he's amazing. He is a Renaissance, a modern day Renaissance man. Let's go meet Joel. Hi, uh, I'm Joel. Welcome to our shop. Come on inside. This sauna is complete and ready to go out to a customer tomorrow or Monday, depending on what day of the week it is. Do you know what day of the week it is? This is where we keep some of our materials for the sauna. Uh, we're building them from scratch, from the frame all the way up to the roof. So um, it looks a little bit like the materials for building a small house. So our sauna start over here. This is our metal shop. Uh, we basically just start from steel tubing and we put together a really heavy duty rigid frame and that allows us to basically put wheels on it and drive it to the site like a trailer. It also allows us to do fun stuff like crane a sauna over a house. We've got one over here on the floor that has lifting ears on it uh, so we can bring a crane and literally lift it up and put it in place on the other side of a house that there's no way around. So over here in the metal shop, um, we've got various tools for cutting and shaping and welding metal. We do other fab work here too, so 
uh, the frames are actually kind of one of the simpler metal projects we do. Uh, but there's also other little custom fab bits in the saunas, seat brackets and little structural bits that we make here that you might never see, but they're part of making the sauna strong. So uh, we do two kinds of welding here in the shop. This is kind of, this is a MIG welder. It's sort of your utility welding for sticking big pieces of stuff together. We also do TIG welding, which is like a finer, more detail-oriented type of welding. That's here, ooh, this is still warm. And then for cutting steel, we got a lot of different technologies. Uh, this is an iron worker, so we need to punch holes or bend stuff or shear plates or something. It's a little weird, but steel, if you press hard enough, it'll just move out of the way. So that's what this machine does. We also can saw, saw steel. Um, so we've got a bandsaw, this is where we cut tube primarily. Um, we have this really sweet new tool, it's a circular saw. Uh, oops, but for metal. So you can just like run it like a circular saw right through thick steel plates, it's kind of magic. And we have this plasma cutter. Uh, so it uses an electric arc and compressed air just to like part the waters of a steel plate. It's, uh, it's an exciting process. Over here we have our wood shop and uh, everything's on wheels. It's pretty modular. Um, but this is where we do all the carpentry for building the sound. It's building the wood frames and all the paneling and the benches and everything that happens here. We also build custom furniture and stuff like this funny looking table here. Um, so we're able to produce a lot of different kinds of things here, but uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite spots. This room back here, uh, currently it's full of metalworking pieces, but uh, it's also our paint booth. Some of the materials we have to paint, we do it in there. Our building has this cool patio area. The train tracks are right on the other side of that wall. And so when the weather's nice, we're doing dusty stuff, we come do it out here. That trailer is gonna be the base for one of our new saunas. Uh, we're starting to build saunas out of cross laminated timber. Uh, so our prototype's gonna go on there and it's kind of a cool trailer frame because it lowers right down to the ground. Originally this building, it was a burial vault manufacturer and they made cement burial vaults. Um, luckily all of those lids seem to have stayed closed. We haven't run into any ghosts or other creatures around here. That's a joke. Anyway, then uh, this building was refurbished and cleaned up by the folks who started the wall furniture and Epicurean uh, cutting surfaces. And they're like amazing people who started awesome companies. So we feel lucky to be in a space that has that kind of creative energy. Hey. Thanks for like stopping by our place. Uh, we feel so grateful to be here. And I mean, honestly, if you are ever in the North, uh, in upper Midwest or in Minnesota, we would love to have you here. In many ways, I'd love to just say, I want to invite you to the story that's happening here. Because the thing is, it's not like we're the heroes. I think the sauna is just the, the setting. The sauna is the guide. Um, and we would love to hear your stories of sauna transformation. Like even in the comments below, like tell me a little bit about like what was your memory if you've grown up with this, if you've known sauna forever, like uh, tell us a little about it. Tell us about the like, if you geeked out when Joel gave you the tour and there was like your favorite tool that you saw in there, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see them using that big metal thing, right? I mean, that, it, there's just so much going on here and I just want to invite you to be a part of this story. So um, if you're liking this, uh, consider subscribing. Uh, there's a subscribe button somewhere there in those spots and join us. If you're ever up here, we would love to host you. We'd love to host you for sauna. We'd love to build you a sauna, but more importantly, we want to keep telling the story that sauna is actually changing people's lives here and probably where you are too. So we'll see you on the next one. All right. <laughs>